Back here at home, Spurs head coach Greg Popovich responding to criticism from President Donald Trump. The war of words began between the two began last week after Houston Rockets general manager Daryl Morey tweeted his support for Hong Kong. The night team Stephen Cavazos joins us in studio tonight with a breakdown of how it all got started and what Popovich had to say today. Stephen? Well, fight for freedom, stand with Hong Kong. It was that tweet made by Houston Rockets general manager Daryl Morey, which led to a rift between China and the NBA. NBA Commissioner Adam Silver responded to Morey's tweet by saying the NBA supports freedom of speech. Spurs head coach Greg Popovich praising Silver as a leader who stands by the league's values. But those comments drew backlash from President Donald Trump. The president criticized Popovich and Warriors head coach Steve Kerr during a news conference last week, accusing both coaches of pandering to China. Popovich and Kerr had refrained from directly addressing the dispute between the NBA and communist country, but Trump calling out hypocrisy from both men, saying they, quote, talk very badly about the United States, end quote. No cameras are allowed in the pregame press conferences, but Popovich did respond to Trump's comments. Hear what he had to say ahead of the third preseason game against the Pelicans. All I did was make a comparison between Adam Silver's show of principle and courage in a tough situation as opposed to how our president reacts when uh, in the company of authoritarian figures, whether it's you know Saudi Arabia or North Korea or Russia or Turkey, whatever it is, uh, it comes off as pretty feckless, impotent, and cowardly by comparison. Now, Coach Pop had more to say on that matter, and you can hear more of that tonight on Instant Fleet Replay with Greg Simmons and Larry Armidas following the night beat.